Hi guys! Today we shall be going to the City in the Sky, finally, after all this time. It's taken quite a long time. And, um, the last video we saw, we didn't have enough cash money to, um, fix the cannon, but I did that off camera. And, um, let him fix it now. And it's very easy to get in the cannon. And as you can see as well, it's got some bipedal legs, making it... not I don't think they're bipedal, but it's got some legs. It's quite similar to a little Metal Gear. But um, it's more like a bird, which suits the hookahs and whatnot. But to get in, we just want a hook shot in. And Uka decide, uh, decides to join us. Yeah, so we were pretty much ejected up here pretty quickly, and we have a nice pool for landing in. But before we head in to the dungeon proper, we will go and join these dudes in um, their shop. And we have a Deku Baba, which I assume is a bit odd while they're up in the sky here. But, um, yeah. maybe that's where they come from. Well, I don't know they got up. And this is a little shop, and which is useful for us if we need to buy anything before we enter the uh, temple. And we can come back here whenever we need to as well. We can easily leave the city as well when we want to. Because I believe that the other cannon back down is just on the right side. So if you really do need to get back down for some reason, then you can. But I really recommend not. Because I would say this place is genuinely complicated. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing, but um, it's sort of a great big curveball as it were. When it come as it comes out of nowhere, and we put the um, iron boots to good use here. What with the um, gusts of wind, and for most switches, it's recommended to use the um, hook shot or the claw shot if you're close enough. 
because if the wind is blowing when you shoot an arrow, it will blow the arrow off course, which is a pretty neat effect. And so is this with the um, gust of wind, which is pretty nice. And that's similar to Wind Waker when they had the iron boots on that. And I quite like the iron boots, ever since they changed it like it was in um, the Ocarina of Time, it's a lot more bearable. Because if you remember, you had to um, constantly go to the select item subscreen, which took, took some time. And we're still getting blown all over the place by the wind, which is always fun. And the first thing you'll notice when we walk in here is the great big free drops as the uku just falls down. An uka. And the actual amount of ukas here, which you'd expect in this city. It's not a very um, expansive city, you know, it's quite annoying. Quite, uh, as long as they're comfortable here with, you know, falling platformers and whatnot, then good for them. Yeah, if you stand on them too long, you won't be able to get back up, and you will fall down, and you will, um, you're not going to end up back in Hyrule if you fall down. You'll just, um, start again in the room. So it's nothing too major. And uh, sometimes it can be used, um, tactically. And, as you can see, we can grapple the Ukas. And again, they are useful just for travelling across the um, planes. And then um, these dudes, quite annoying, but easily taken down like before. I mean, you know, we don't really get many new enemies here either, so it's sort of like a bit of a rehash, if you want to call it that, you know, some old things together. And we're now entering the uh, main room of the temple. We'll be coming back here multiple times. In the main hub room, as it were. And this dude is just a bigger version of the uh, charges. You cannot remove his um, armor, no matter how hard you try. Well, the way to defeat him is to use your... Um, well, that, but not... Um, but do it when you're actually behind him. Like, ah, there we go. And he doesn't take a lot of hits. I just think it can dish out some damage to you, that's all. And he's good enough to drop us some cash money. And we want to uh, grapple this place here. Because there's nowhere else we can actually go at the moment. And it takes us outside, it does. And here we have another spinner uh, section, which again is nice because this reflects the old Hyrule uh, kind of things. You know, it goes on with the Temple of Time and the Arbiter's Grounds, which is a nice theme. And we, I think we get to use this a couple of times here as well, which is nice. And we don't have to worry about the uh, pigeons around here, they won't really do much. We do have to worry about the wind, I believe. Yeah, push us to the right, and as you can see, the right-hand side of the bridge was basically empty, so we can easily get pushed off by there. And in here, we want to grapple up there, as you do, and we can open up one of the first chests in the place. And we can acquire ourselves a magical small key. And this finally means, you know, we're starting to get somewhere in the place. 
And then um, the way I got out of here was to grapple the wrong thing. I don't actually know the correct way out, but just to grapple down and then jump off and then go back through the uh, door. Which again is really the easiest thing to actually do. And back through here. Again, birdies ignore us because of that pro. But um, doing this allows us to get to the other side of the temple. And if you've already noticed, there is some really clear patterning with these, you know, the exact like same thing reflected, something like lake bed and what have you. I think the I'm. When I first played this game, this was as far as I'd ever gotten. I would, I've never actually finished this game, and this was the place what really put me off the game, but I'm actually going to finish this game. It's only been six years, and I will finish it. But um, it really, I really am not keen on this place much. And that's a quick way around there. We could have went back through the way we came, but this way is a bit simpler. And can't go through here. Well, we can, but um, it doesn't get us anywhere going that way yet. And I'm still debating on whether or not to have half an hour long videos or to go for this um, length because I'm not sure if more people watch these ones or get less tired. But it's easier for me because the video is quicker to render. So I think I might keep like this for a while. So this means this place will be maybe three or four videos long. But um, yeah, you know, the uh, Deku's taken out pretty simple. And we've got another spinner bridge to uh, extend again. And I just had to pick up that rook before it disappeared because it probably would have when I went to get it any later. the elements again as we're going through here but it's pretty simple and um, finally um, using our key so if we would have come here anytime sooner we could have only just extended the bridge we couldn't have opened anything so it's not so bad And here we have um, gusts of wind in the um, in this room, and they will knock us off. And we can grief the enemies here as well, which is actually quite fun. My main problem with this little bit of room is when you're looking from this direction. Oh, and there he goes, because we took his shell off him. Poor guy. But um, it can be difficult to tell from this direction how close you are to being in or out of the fan, which is quite annoying, because like there, I couldn't really tell if I was still in there or not. But I do believe I fixed that for myself later on by just um, using something a bit different. And we want to just do that just to um, bypass the winds because we will get blown off as per. <laughs> and in here we will find ourselves the fantastical looking 
dungeon map. And um, I will leave you for this. I will leave you with that for this video, and I'll see you next time.